Welcome back everyone. This one is called the clock face and it is a concept I picked up when here with Barb and co because today we've got Barb, John and Jenny and literally on my right on this very rink I was on uh, I introduced myself to some blind people and they showed me how they teach blind people to discern what is a backhand and a forehand in itself great what i loved is translating that into how we can help people get line or choose line so we're going to get john to go first he is a left-hander jenny is a right-hander but we're looking straight down the rink number as if we were looking into the camera there is a jack in front of us or we think there is now i'm going to say to john i want you to line up as if it were 12 o'clock so john's going to stand literally there and line up as if it's 12 o'clock. And I'm going to say to John, now your grass line is 11 o'clock. And look at his body direction. So he would then deliver his bowl, if he were to deliver his bowl, at 11 o'clock. So John, come back off the mat. Now this time I want you to go 12 o'clock and then one o'clock. So you watch John, he gets on there, he lines up dead in line with the jack, and now he says, I've got to deliver the bowl to one o'clock. Notice one o'clock for him is his backhand. So if that happened to be his chosen grass line, that's where he'd go. Now let me show you how this principle applies even to a right-hander. So Jen's going to come in now. And Jenny will get on the mat. Line up for 12 o'clock, Jen. So she's lined up straight at you in the camera. Now I'm saying aim for one o'clock. As a right hander, that's where she's aiming and her whole body is lined up. Now Jen, come off the mat. Now I'm saying I want you to line up 11 o'clock having done the 12 o'clock line up. So she lines up 12 o'clock. Now, so notice this is her backhand. The assumption we're making is that the one and the 11 in this instance would come right on to the jack which is in line with the camera. Thanks, Jen. That is such a rudimentary principle. I, I just love it. I just can't get over how that is a great way to choose a grass line. So if you wanted 1.30 or 12.30, it just make that slight adjustment. So thank you very much, everyone.